Thousands packed the Maidan the day after Ukraine's parliament voted to oust former President Viktor Yanukovych. After months of opposition protest, the square has now become a place of triumph, celebration and mourning. With Yanukovych gone, activists have been reflecting on what the future holds. We have fought for this for over two months. Many are dead. They weren't supposed to leave us. They were young, they never experienced life. All the politicians associated with the regime should leave Ukraine. In a special session on Sunday, Ukraine's parliament voted overwhelmingly to temporarily hand the president's powers to Speaker Oleksandr Torchinov. Torchinov is a strong ally of former Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko. He is also an outspoken opponent of ousted President Yanukovych. Potential candidates for the presidency are already stepping forward. Opposition leader Vitaly Klitschko said he's ready to lead. If people decide that, I take responsibility. Yes, Klitschko will likely face off against Tymoshenko. In an emotional speech on the Maidan late Saturday, the former prime minister said she would stand in May's elections. She called on Ukrainians to keep fighting and reminded them of the two years she spent behind bars. I was imprisoned thinking there was no greater joy than to be born and live among you because you were the best. But now we have important tasks ahead. And first of all, we have to bring Yanukovych and all the scum gathered around him to Maidan. But deposed President Yanukovych still enjoys strong support in Ukraine's eastern provinces. In Crimea, demonstrators gathered in protest of Yanukovych's ouster. They called politicians in Kiev traitors and fascists and refused to recognize the legitimacy of the new interim government.